Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? Today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right, it's got to do with real estate. So what is our subject for today? Our subject for today is real estate, how and why you pre-qualify pre your customers to buy their home. I will tell you what, or any real estate, or any product, a lot of times when you're in sales, the things that I've learned over the years is everybody wants to buy stuff, but sometimes they may have a pocket full of nothing and you need to figure out, well, can they get what they want to look at? And not to be disrespectful because everybody has a right to look, but sometimes you need to make sure they're not wasting their time and not wasting yours because sometimes they call people tire kickers. Tire kickers are people who want to look. And that's what they want to do. They know in the back of their mind, I can't buy nothing here. You ever done that before? Have you ever went to the mall just to look and see what was out there? And a nice salesperson ran up to you and said, hey, how are you doing today? Can I help you? Don't ever ask them that crazy question. What you want to do, guys, is being sincere. I'm walking around a beautiful model home today that I'm doing for Adam's uh, homes here in Green Cove Spring today. They give me a chance to work in a model home and work with customers and also talk to people and get some referrals and hey that's what you do you earn your good business that way and here's one of the like I said the, the question was real estate how why you pre -quali qualify your customers to buy really that could be homes that could be selling furniture that could be selling cars you just got to do it tactfully one of the key things that I've learned is a lot of people, they would like to be able to buy something, but if they haven't been pre-qualified, a lot of times, I don't want to say you're wasting your time, but it may be wasting your time. It also might be hindering the customer to see the reality that first, before you make a big decision, you really need to find out what you qualify and how we can help you get qualified. A lot of times people, they may have some issues with their credit. They may have a pocket full of money and maybe they've never used credit cards or maybe they've got a lot of credit cards and they may be upside down in their credit cards. So the key to success when you're trying to sell a house is you want to you know, have this uh, polite conversation with them. Ask them what they've looked at. Have they talked to anybody? Have they talked to anybody about financing to find out what they qualify for? And a lot of times if you do it professionally and if you treat people with the respect that they deserve, I promise you people will not be frustrated with you. And here's the thing guys, you can take people to look at homes, but what I've seen in my own experience and also with other people who've told me, make sure that before you start going and seeing four and five, six homes, that they find out what they actually qualify for. Because if you're showing somebody a $500,000 home, okay, <laughs> or maybe a $250,000 or above home, they may ask before you even come and look at the property, do, have they been pre-qualified? That means they got a letter saying that, hey, man, they can buy a house, and this is how much they're worth and what they can do. Because I'm going to pr promise you this, if you go into some of the higher-end communities and stuff like that, and you have no pre-qualification uh, or pre-qualified customer, they may say no. And they have all the right to do that, especially people who are selling their own homes. If somebody's, you know, if you go into a, a place where you've got new construction, you know, they're going to go ahead and check your good credit. They're going to say, hey, you qualify. This is how much you qualify for. Here are all the features and the benefits. But if you've got people who are living in a house and they're wanting to sell a house, and they've not been vetted. That means they haven't been looked at to make sure that they have good credit, that they're able to pay the payments or even have the money to be able to afford to pay attention. Oh, crap. They may say, I can't let you in my home. And you got to remember, it's for their benefit and it's also for their safety because everybody wants to make sure that when they go to sell their homes, that they're able to sell it to a qualified buyer. 
You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your sales guy. I'm your real estate sales guy. And I've been in sales for since the 80s. So over 30 something years. So I know a little bit about selling. And it's like, even if you're selling furniture, for instance, people will come in, they'll look at some really great stuff. You take them up to the kiosk and you find out they can't buy nothing because they're upside down or maybe they got bad credit. So you always want to drop that little hint in there. Have you already been pre-qualified? And just do it that nice. And they'll say, well, no, I haven't really thought about it. You know, I really don't know much about it. I'm not sure what we want to do. That's just a little smoke that they're saying, no, I haven't. I just need somebody to be kind to me. Tell me what the process is. And then walk them through the process. Show them. Sometimes you just got to fill out some basic information. And sometimes you just need to talk to a loan officer. Somebody who can tell you. Uh, ask some simple questions. Your social security number. They're going to ask you know, where you work. They're going to ask you how long you've been on the job. They may ask for W-2s. They may ask for banking statements. They may be asking you some pertinent questions. And as fast as you can get that information to them the fastest you can get your approval, okay? And you really want to stay on top of this, guys, especially if you're a salesperson and your customers seem to be wanting to invest or buy something. Now, you do have some of those cash customers because cash is king, but for the majority of people, they do need to finance. Even if it's for a little bit, you need to finance. They need help. They're going to have to have somebody walk them through that process. And to pre-qualify them, just makes them look like king and queens when they go to want to buy a house. Because if you say somebody, if you got like three or four people who are looking at the same house, because we are in a seller's market right now, and you've got a pre-qualified letter to say, hey, I'm ready to go, and these other people may not, and you've put down a binder, which means some money to go ahead and get the business started, you're in a much better position. Just saying. So get yourself pre-qualified before you buy a home. Talk to your real, you know, real estate salesperson. They may know some people who are in the finance business, because I do, because my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your real estate sales guy, and I know quite a lot of people who would love to help you buy a home, a condo, or maybe just some real estate. But if you don't have anybody to help you, it's kind of tough, and you're out there just going, well, I wish I could buy a house. If you're one of these kind of people who've never even bought a home and you've been living in an apartment or a condo or a house that you've been renting for a while and you're paying over a thousand dollars, I'm pretty much guarantee you might be able to qualify. You just got to walk through the process. Remember, you need to be pre-qualified. And our subject for today is real estate. How and why pre-qualified customers buy. They buy because they can buy. Now, remember this one thing. Just because a customer may get pre-qualified for a high amount, three or $400,000, you got to be real careful because, see, some of them don't want to spend that much money because they may be living on a budget. And the reason why they still got good credit is because they lived within their means. That means they paid their bills. <laughs> and if they paid their bills and they t- they're kind of hinting around, well, we'd like to have this, we'd like to have that, we like to have it around two hundred and fifty thousand dollars be careful you don't want to lose a good sale because you got all excited because those customers they got over three hundred thousand dollars to work with okay be careful let the customer help you help them buy something so if they're 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 looking at homes on your website because at exit real estate gallery uh, you, you can check mine out at your real estate sales guy.com you can look at literally thousands of homes and it'll make a little notation for each house that they're looking at and i'm gonna tell you what what's cool about that is I can say, okay, this is the price range they're trying to figure out how to spend their money. They may not be trying to max out, you know, what they can buy because they want to maybe buy other things to complement their home. Or maybe they need a new car down the road. Or maybe they need something else, like a kid to go to college. So they got some money, honey. And if they put themselves in a bind just on a mortgage, it can suck. And I've seen some people who bought too much mortgage and they trying to keep up with the Joneses, trying to buy all this stuff. And guess where they live? They live in a poor house. Oh crap. They may have a, they may be rich in house, but they poor in everything else. 
and they live in day to day. And that sucks. You don't want your customers to be like that. Remember our subject, real estate, how and why pre-qualified customers buy. Let's get serious, guys. One of the key components of a conversation when you get a customer as far as trying to sell real estate you got to ask them some real questions. Where have you looked? What were you thinking about? Were you looking for a three-bedroom, a two-bedroom? Were you looking to live in the country? Were you looking for something that was large? Are you downsizing? Have you owned a home before? Are you renting? Are you, are you renting a condo? When is your lease up? There's a whole bunch of questions. I got like a whole bunch of them that I ask questions, not like rapidly in a row, but I fill customers out and let them talk with me to tell me where they are mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. Because see, if people, if they have a lease and maybe it's going to be six months to a year, maybe they're just looking for right now. But you want to definitely keep in touch with those folks because if they're uh, a leaser and they're leasing for uh, more than a thousand dollars a month, hey, that's probably pretty good. That maybe if they have decent credit, and if they don't, that don't matter. You can teach them and show them how to fix their credit. Talk to some somebody who's in the finance business, and they can walk them through a process how to clean up their their good credit. You know, our subject for today is selling. It's real estate. How and why pre-qualified customers can buy. The reason why they can buy, guys, is because you took the time to ask them good questions. And you listen to what they had to say. A lot of times we get excited because we have a customer right there in our grasp. And we are looking at down the road. We're not looking at right then. And what will happen is, is the customer will feel alienated that means they may feel that you're more in it for you and not so much for them so have a relationship conversation build that relationship and ask them to hey listen can we make sure that you look at the right homes did you have a value that you were wanting to look at a price range and sometimes they'll say yes and sometimes they'll say no so you gotta just go ahead and say discreetly you know most of my customers when they want to buy a home, they have an idea. And in this regard, if you don't have an idea, let's find out what you can qualify for. So that way you can go look at all the homes in your price range. And in that way, you save your valuable time because your time is so valuable. And my simple job is to let you see the homes that you're interested in that are in your price range. And I'm going to tell you what, it can make it so much more simpler. So let me give you some information. Here's some people we can call that can walk you through the process and find out how you can get financing and how you can get the home of your dream. And then, by the way, were you leasing a home right now? Were you renting a home? Are you renting an apartment? How much are you spending? Because what you're doing is you're pre-qualifying them to find out how much they're already paying. And you're looking to help them with the opportunity to buy. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. You can call me at 904-662-8933. Just ask for your friend Gary Lee. Or you can check out my exit website at yourrealestatesalesguy.com and literally look at thousands of homes. And I can definitely help you get pre-qualified because I know the right people. And I'll do it with a smile on my face. And remember, when you're trying to help somebody buy a home, it's just better for them to know where they stand. And if at that time they are not able to buy a home by being pre-qualified, it at least lets them know where they are at and what they need to do to become qualified. There's nothing worse than wanting something and nobody's helping you figure out how to get it. And your simple job, you know, it may not be right then and there where you get a chance to sell that product or that customer. It don't matter what product, product it is, but you build that relationship. You call on them. You make sure they're fixing their credit. You make sure that things are going well with them. You keep them in memory. And the more times they hear your voice, hear, see your face, they will be more inclined to want to do business with you because the majority of times when people are buying a house, they generally buy from the very first real estate person 
who helped them. So you be the one to help them. Help them find out if they can get pre-qualified. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. We just had a very simple conversation about, you know, selling, how to be pre-qualified, how it's important, why it's important, and how it makes it easy for the customer to buy. So get pre-qualified. All right. Welcome home.